Hey, this is KSOG007, and um, I know I've done it before, but um, I have to do it again. Because someone it sent me an email saying they didn't understand and I didn't explain it very well. So, here it is again. Another Vulcan. Okay, right. Basically, it's single shot and uh, automatic, but with automatic, you need batteries. So, I'm going to show you how it works, okay? Okay, in the box, you will get the gun, okay? And a lot of other accessories. Right, now on here, there's a little line. Yeah, that's where the cocking mechanism goes. Okay, so if I put that there, then there's a hole right at the end. But if I do it like that, then you'll be able to see, okay? Right here. That, and then it allows you to cock it, okay? I haven't got batteries in it at the moment, so I can't do it automatically. But yeah, so you can cock it from both sides. Okay. Now, so that's the cocking mechanism done. Um, this gun can take all sorts of darts. It can either take streamliners or whistler. Okay. Um, like I said, yeah, it takes every, uh, dart, um, but, yeah, it never gets, well, it hardly gets, my one doesn't get jammed, it's a good gun, it costs a lot of money though, quite some dosh, um, it was about, uh, 39, 9 quid, uh, yeah, so, right, at the back here, so, where the trigger is, there's a little lever at the top. You probably think, what the hell is that? Well, I can show you today where it is. So if you flick it up, and there's a button. That turns it on. That turns it off. On. Off. Okay? Right, I'll show you where you put the batteries. Let me just get my cover. Okay, right. Directly below the cocking mechanism, there's a little screw. Yeah, okay, so here there's this bit. Okay, now what you do is you get. Let me see. Ah, oh, that's small as well. Get a screwdriver. Put it in and just unscrew it, okay? And then it will in there. Okay, then once that's undone, you've got this bit, and then you've got this bit. You put 6D in there, 6Ds, then once you put them in, you get the two bits there, and you slide it in upside down. You can't slide it in that way, or it won't go. So upside down, then this bit's the tricky bit. Some people just put it on like this, okay, but you have to go under, on, and then you could just twist it, and then it's in. Okay, some features to the gun. We have the mag box, which I'll show you how to load. Um, if, like I say, if it doesn't say end strike, then it's fake. Uh, you can mod it by taking that off and see how much ammo you got. That bit goes to the side here. You'll hear a big click. It's noticeable. Uh, then we got um, the mag, uh, the actual dots. So let me show you how you load it. I'll do it from this. No, there. Right, there's the box here. Okay, now there's always a green dart. Okay, and then there's a green arrow here. Put the green dart on the arrow. So, what you do is you get it in and put six in a row. Like that, okay? And then put it like that. Now, if you cock it like that, they all go all wrong, okay? So, that's why you need that down, okay? But, if you've got the lid on. Always close that one first, then that. Then cock it, okay? 
don't like fuck it, then put that down, then that down, then that down. Okay, because it won't work. Down, down, cock, shoot. Okay? Not down, down, because then it won't work. Okay? Alright, you get the point. Okay. Like I said, load it with any sort of dart. There's a little flick a bit at the end where you could just, uh, you know, like a target. Uh, you could put, you don't have to have the, what's it called? The handle. You can put like a scope there. Uh, when I get my next gun, I'm going to put a scope there and laser there. And I don't know what I'm going to put there. Um, but this is optional. You don't have to. You get this. What's it called? Uh, it's like a tactical handle. It just gives it a bit of stuff. Um, makes it a bit secure. Okay. Um, next thing, the tripod. I modded my tripod because it was broken by my brother. Um, I took it all apart and I found out one of the spring, uh, one of the bits that hold the spring snapped. I did look it up on the internet, or you, I'll do a video on it that will show you how you do it. Um, basically, I took it apart, took this bit apart, and then worked. I uh, saw what was broken. Okay, so now you have. Normally you hear click, but now if I put it on my gun, like that, now it can literally, it's actually easier. So if I'm in a walk, I'm gonna walk. okay, um, it didn't break it, it's actually. Once I took it apart, it's actually better than ever, I think. Um, don't about you, but, uh, yeah, but it's good. Um, right, I'm going to, if I have time, yep, I have a bit of time to do a shooting test. Alright, see that picture? Don't worry, it won't break it. Okay, loading it. No, 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 I'm not going to shoot it at that bitch, okay? I'm going to shoot it at... Wait, hold on. A... Box. Okay, here it is. for it and all you need to do is flick it on and then it goes <laughs> but as you saw before Matt when I was doing it I actually did it really quick I was going <laughs> you can actually hold it hold the trigger um, hold the trigger down and cock it at the same time so it's like that like, like that and then all you need to do is this and it will shoot I'll even prove it to you Okay, my advice is to never do this, um, to, wait, is it, is it jammed? No, nope. my advice to you is to never put it in light, but you can, no, I'll show you. Okay. Right, one got stuck, but, it's good, if you get stuck, just do that and it'll come out. Okay, so that was the Nerf Vulcan, okay? Yeah. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and rate.